Now, this is a publication of the Office of the President. Uh, it's called the Executive Review. And I'm sure you all read it. At least I'm sure the President hopes you all read it. This is a recent issue. And there's a, an article in here written by a keen mind of the South. Who, it's my former Vice President, John Calhoun, perhaps. <laughs> Could it be? who asserts that there has never existed a civilized society in which one segment did not thrive upon the labor of another. As far back as one chooses to look to ancient times, to biblical times, history bears this out. In Eden, where only two were created, even there, one was pronounced subordinate to the other. Slavery has always been with us and is neither sinful nor immoral. Rather, as war and antagonism are the natural states of man, so too slavery, as natural as it is inevitable. <clears throat> now, gentlemen, I must say I differ with the keen minds of the South and with our president, who apparently shares their views, offering that the natural state of mankind is instead, and I know this is a controversial idea, is freedom. Is freedom. And the proof is the length to which a man, woman or child will go to regain it once taken. He will break loose his chains. He will decimate his enemies. He will try and try and try against all odds, against all prejudices to get home.